morning is replacing the frowning night. Darkness is stumbling out of the sun's path like a drunken man. Now, before the sun comes up and burns away the dew, I have to fill this basket of mine with poisonous weeds and medicinal flowers. The earth is nature's mother and also nature's tomb. Plants are born out of the earth and they are buried in the earth when they die. From the earth's womb, many different sorts of plants and animals come forth and the earth provides her children with many excellent forms of nourishment. Everything nature creates has some special property and each one is different. Herbs, plants, and stones possess great power. There is nothing on earth that is so evil that does not provide the earth with some special quality. And there is nothing that does not turn bad if it is put to the wrong use and abused. Virtue turns to vice if it is misused. Vice sometimes becomes virtue through the right activity. Inside this little rind of this weak flower, there is both poison and powerful medicine. If you smell it, you feel good all over yourself. But if you taste it, you die. There are two opposite elements in everything, in men as well as in herbs. There is good and evil. When evil is dominant, death soon kills the body like cancer. Good morning, Mother. God bless you. Who greets me so early in the morning? Young man, something's wrong if you're getting out of bed this early. Every old man has worries, and worried men never get any sleep. But young men shouldn't have a care in the world. They should get to bed early and have plenty of sleep. Therefore, the fact that you're awake this early tells me you've been upset with some anxiety. If that's not the case, then this must be the answer. You, Romeo, have not been to bed tonight. Your last guess is right. I enjoyed a sweeter rest than sleep. May God forgive you if you've sinned. Were you with Rosalind? With Rosalind, Mother? No, I've forgotten that girl and all the sadness she had brought me. That's good, my boy, but where have you been? I'll tell you before. You have to ask me again. I've been feasting with my enemy. Suddenly some wounded me with love and was wounded with love by me. You have the scared power to cure both of us. I carry no hatred, holy lady, because my request will bend in life. Speak plainly. Make your meaning clear, my son. A jumbled confession can only receive a jumbled reply. I love the rich Capulet's daughter. I love her and she loves me as well. We're bound to each other in every possible way. However, we need you to marry us. I'll tell you more later about when and where we met, how we fell in love, and how we exchanged our promises. But now I beg of you, please agree to marry us today. Holy St. Francis, this is a drastic change. Have you given up so quickly on Rosalind, whom you have loved so much? Then young men love with their eyes, not with their hearts. Jesus and Mary, how many tears did you cry for Rosalind? How many salty teardrops did you waste salting a love you never tasted? The sun has not yet melted away the fog you made with all your sighs. The groans you used to make are still ringing in my old ears. There's still a stain on your cheek from an old tear that has not been washed off yet. If you were ever yourself, and this sadness was yours, you and your sadness were all for Rosalind, and now you've changed? Then repeat this after me. You can't accept women to be faithful when men are so unreliable. You scolded me often for loving Rosalind. I scolded you for obsessing about her, not for loving her, my dear. And you told me to bury my love. I didn't tell you to get rid of one love and replace her with another. Please, I beg you, don't scold me. The girl I love now returns my love. The other girl did not love me in return. Oh, she knew very well that you were acting like you were in love without really knowing what love means. But come on, inconsistent young man, come with me. I'll help you with your secret wedding. This marriage may be lucky enough to turn the hatred between your families into pure love. All right, let us get out of here. I'm in a rush. Go wisely and slowly. Those who rush will stumble and fall. Fifteen seventy? It was!